today we're going to be looking at the treble crochet. So that's a UK term and in the US it's called a double crochet. Um, so you want to go ahead and make your slip knot and foundation chain. If you're still not sure about that I do have a video and I will leave a link just above. So we're going to go ahead and make our slip knot, insert our hook and make our foundation chain. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. So you keep going for as many chains as you feel it is necessary for practice. Just as all the others, I would suggest at least 12 to 15 and I'll meet you back at the end. So I've done my foundation chain and for the treble crochet we're going to be working into the fourth chain from the hook. So again we never count the chain on the hook. Here's the first, second, third, fourth. Again if you're confused about which chain to work into, if you hold your last stitch and for the treble crochet we chain three. So one, two, three and then work our first stitch into the chain where our finger was. So we're going to yarn over and insert our hook, three loops on the hook. We're going to yarn over, pull through one, three chains, yarn over, pull through two of the loops on your hook. You'll be left with two loops on your hook. Yarn over again and pull through the final two loops. Again, yarn over and insert into the very next stitch. You'll have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through one. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, pull through two. Again into the next stitch. Yarn over insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So that is treble crochet. So we're going to keep going along this foundation chain, yarning over, pulling through one, yarning over, pulling through two, yarning over, pulling through two. So if you pause the video and work your way to the end and I'll meet you back at the end. So I've worked my way along and I've got one stitch left. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And that's your first row of treble crochet. So for the treble we're going to do a three chain turning stitch. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three and turn our work. Now unlike the double and the half treble we actually miss the very first stitch and we work into the second stitch. This is because this treble here, the turning treble that we've made, is going to act as our first stitch on this row. So we're going to yarn over and insert into the second stitch along. Pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again, yarn over, insert into the next stitch, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And again. So if you want to pause the video and make your way back along and I'll meet you back at the end. So I've made my way back along and it will always look as if you've only got one stitch left at the top. But if you look from the front we actually need to create two. So one on top of this stitch and one on the top of this stitch. So we'll work our next one into the top of this stitch which is your clear stitch. Yarn over, insert. Yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. 
So for the final stitch, we haven't got a clear stitch, we need to work into the top of this turning chain here. If you just wiggle your hook around in it to make a hole, you'll see the two loops of the V of the stitch. So again, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And we're now ready to turn again. So chain three, one, two, three. Turn our work and remember to miss that very first stitch and work into the second one. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So if you just continue along this row and again I'll meet you back at the end. So again I've made my way along and I've got two stitches left. So the first one is the one with the easy clear stitch to work into. Yarn over insert, yarn over pull through one, yarn over pull through two, yarn over pull through two. And the last stitch is where you need to just work into the top. So wiggle about to make a hole, yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. So just remember at the end of every row to chain three, one, two, three, turn your work, miss the first stitch and work into the second stitch. So if you continue for as many rows as you feel necessary and I'll meet you back at the end. So I've added a few more rows and to finish off the piece we chain one, take our scissors and clip the yarn and then pull through and just pull it to tighten. And that's what the treble crochet will look like. As you can see with this stitch, because we're working into the second chain, at the end of every row you will have a gap where we've missed a, where we've missed a stitch. Now, I don't particularly like the look of this having a gap at each end of the row and therefore I don't tend to make blankets out of this stitch. I use the stitch to form other stitches to make blankets but I don't make a whole blanket out of this stitch because I just don't like the gaps at the end. But that's personal preference and if you don't mind it then by all means um, make a blanket. So that's the treble crochet. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you want to be notified of new videos when they are up uh, please click the bell button and you'll get a notification. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again next time. Bye bye!